Two days ago, a recon team went missing in the northern woods, just south of what used to be Yellowstone National Park. Their final radio transmission said the following, We found an artifact. It talks. It tells us everything. We will soon leave this earth. Farewell. I have been sent to find them. Today, I will be wearing a British surplus DPM belt rig with 80 additional rounds of 7.62x39 in 20-round magazines, a canteen, and other various supplies. I will be carrying auxiliary gear in a Rush 24, and I will be fielding my PSA GF3 that has my favorite optics stack, a surefire vampire light on a PSA rail. I will also be wearing my new favorite watch, the Casio Duro. Let's get a makeshift zero going. Actually, let's try that. The muzzle brake is just nasty. <laughs> so allegedly the recon team set up camp somewhere over here. So we're just gonna see if we can find any remnants. Hope they're still there. Yep. This is them. Ah, oh, jeez. Great. Hello? Knowing attack gnomes, they're probably gonna be in that direction since they like going deeper into the woods. I wonder what happened to that artifact. Well, we better get a move on. Every second I dick around here, that's a second longer that the gnomes would have made off with the artifact. So let's head north and uh, go from there, I guess. So I'm gonna keep my head on a swivel here, but I suspect things will be pretty easy going until we get there. Oh, great. What's that, do you see that? If anyone knows anything about scat. In fact, something was taking a nap right here. Do you see this? Look at that. I don't think that's deer poop either. Is that grizzly? Is this a grizzly? Is this a brown bear? I've never seen scat like that before, but clearly something was taking a nap right here. This is why I've started to carry my AK. Cause listen, like 5.56 five, is a great cartridge. I don't think 5.56 gets enough credit for being a really effective cartridge, especially if we're talking about like self-defense or something like that. But the reality is, is like, if I'm gonna run into a moose <laughs> or a bear, honestly, I'm more scared of moose personally. Not that I'd be thrilled to see a bear, but if I run into any of those, I want a 30 caliber rifle. And I don't know, maybe that's just like boomer FUD lore that I've been programmed to believe that you need a 30 caliber round to take down one of those animals. I don't know. What's funny is for as much as I love guns in the outdoors, I've never been hunting, like truly hunting. And so I don't know, someone with more experience, let me know in the comments, do you think that 30 caliber is a bare minimum to take on bears and moose? It's so freaking pretty out here. I'm so blessed to be able to have forest like this to run around in. I remember seeing this on Google Earth. Wow, okay. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's a hole, so it goes doop, doop, down and up. And there's a river down there. It would suck climbing up, but damn, it'd be good for cardio. <sighs> That's probably what we gotta do. Let's hope I don't eat crap on <laughs> the way down. Um, okay, so before I go down the hill and retrieve the artifact and attack the gnome, I wanted to go over gear because I need your help. Um, so I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing when, the, when it comes to firearms. Inevitably, someone's gonna point out that that's a PSA AK and make fun of me, which is totally valid, but um, anyway. 
So I, I am pretty clueless, I feel like, when it comes to gear. Gear is not my wheelhouse, so I would love to ask you guys for your suggestions and help. So I love this belt rig. It's very comfortable. I can carry, in theory, a lot of crap that I need on my belt. And in the future, I probably won't even need to grab a backpack to accompany this. However, I have a problem. This is what I've been using for the past like two years. This is a Hill People Gear, uh, I think heavy recon chest rig. And this thing slaps. I love this thing. I've got my Mora Niv down here, which I need to figure out how to get that onto the kit. And I've also got this front pocket. Okay, and in here I've got my compass, I got a headlamp, I got a right and rain, I got my scriptures, I got my uh, thermal blanket or whatever, space blanket. I got mini binoculars, which I find myself using a lot. I've got extra batteries, I've got matches. Like I've got a lot of random crap in here that I find myself needing. Basically every time I go hiking or find myself wanting, right? And so how do I neatly transfer this to this? because this pouch is being taken up by a canteen. I don't wanna put it back here. This is a pretty big, um, just kind of whatever you want pouch. Back here, I've got a stove and um, I got a stove, I've got a jet boil. And I think that makes sense for now, but honestly, I would like to get a smaller stove set up because I've got a metal canteen in here anyway, so I don't need a jet boil. So I just kind of put that back there because I didn't know what to put. Um, I think this would probably be better used for food, for like an MRE or one of those smaller mountain houses or something. Because in order for me to use that, I have to sit on my butt and park anyway. And so I don't want anything on my butt pack that I might actually need. This is another mag pouch that will eventually be filled with more 20 round mags for my AK. This, these two mag pouches are both filled with uh, two 20 round mags. So I'm trying to figure out how do I get all of this onto this system? And I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to get some kind of big general purpose pouch and put it either over here or over here in between these two. Um, again, you guys know a lot more than me. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I don't wanna run a chest rig and belt gear. I think that kind of defeats the point. I could do that, but I, I don't know. It's just the camo doesn't match. <laughs> and it's a, I want a one piece grab and go system. That's what's fun about belt gear is you can theoretically have everything you need to survive 12 to 24 hours and carry a bunch of ammo on one piece of kit. So let me know what you guys would do if you were in my situation, what suggestions you have. Um, I'm gonna keep looking around on uh, surplus websites and stuff to see if I can find more DPM web gear. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thank you for your help. All right, enough stalling, let's go down the hill. All right. Check these out. Now these are actually edible. So these are huckleberries. These are red huckleberries. Those ones are, I think, dead and out of season, but those are actually edible. I learned recently, they grow in pairs of two, one or two. And you can totally crush these. I'm gonna avoid them for now in case I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are red huckleberries. Wow, unbelievable beauty. You know, I'm not a communist or anything, but some stuff just can't be owned. No one can own this. Places are simply too sacred. You know what I mean? It's just simply too sacred. Now that I'm done being awed by God's wonder, 
It's time to get back to the mission. And we're good. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's the artifact. Oh, frick. I got real lucky there, I tell you what. Okay, well, little buddy, mission accomplished. All right, yeah, that's weird, okay. It sings, I don't really care. Just go in there, freaking grief. Okay, that's a kill shot. Actually, two shots. <laughs> Caught me by surprise, buddy. But you are dead. That's mission accomplished. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it at least mildly entertaining, please subscribe for more. I will be making more as often as I possibly can. Please check out the link in the description for Civilian Expedition Outfitters where you can get your own sticker to cover up Skittles flags in your city. Thank you guys so much for watching and please leave me a comment to let me know if you liked the video. Have an excellent rest of your day and please get out there and enjoy your own armed expedition. Take it easy.